Hello, welcome back. This is Kenji1913, and we are Let's Playing Fantasy Star 2. In the last episode, we started the game. We met Nee and Rolf, and uh, now we're about to leave town for reals. Uh, let's see. Let's. I bought Rolf two knife or one knife and a headgear and a fiber coat. I bought uh, Nee nothing right now. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, she's on level 7, he's on level 4. No, 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 don't remove the knife, equip the knife. There we go. Let's, let's check their, their strengths. As you can see, he's doing pretty good for himself. He's got this new spell called Rukia, which I believe warps you to wherever you save last. Or maybe it just warps you back to Paseo. Anyways, now we're gonna head out. Paseo, and we're gonna head north. And as you can see, we're in the one green area surrounded by the desert, but the whole other area is pretty green too, so I'm not too worried. So from here, we're gonna head, uh, as you can see, this is a dam. These are like weird bio things or some shit. And apparently we cannot walk in the, in the forest, which is friggin' weird. In the other game, we could. So we gotta kind of walk around, and now we're gonna get into a fight. Let's uh, fight. There we go. Look at me go. Look at Rolf go as well. I think for some reason I feel I always feel like uh, I mean this is the first time I've really like gotten into this game, but I feel like uh, what was I gonna say? I feel like um a town over here, but I feel like I'm fighting in Tron, you know what I mean? <laughs> the freaking, the fr you ever, anyone ever see Tron? I feel like the battle screen is Tron. But the battle music's pretty good. Uh, I hope it's not too low. If it is, let me know. Anyways, let's head into... This town here, which has been destroyed. What the hell? This is such a horrible place. Why? What? What? What's going on here? Wow, we. Who are they talking about? Keep their stuff locked in a container. Darum and Darum and his daughter Tim could have lived happy life. So are there? What's the deal? So apparently scoundrels came in here and blew up the town with dynamite. Wowee! And they came from the east, huh? Jesus Christus! So apparently his daughter was kidnapped, and, uh, yeah. Look at all the dead people, holy shit. Wowee, damn, these guys are nasty. Holy shit. Killed all the men. They probably raped all the women, Jesus Christ. These guys are bad, we're gonna have to do something about this. And so here we can purchase a sword if we want, or ceramic knives, um, a shotgun as well. So I'm not gonna, I'm not, I can't buy anything. I don't have the money for anything. So we'll have to deal with that later. So there's the uh, weapon shop. If we come in here, Teleport. Now, if we want, we could teleport to Perseo, but I do not want. No, I don't want to warp. I'd rather walk, personally. Experience needed. So, the systems lab that we're supposed to be, or the lab or whatever, and yeah, this guy will heal you. But I don't need. I don't, no, 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 no. The lab that we're supposed to go to is in the east. But there's actually a guy 
if we go over there, he's standing at the bridge. And these clone labs are just basically, you can return people to life through there. So we just learned that. So, whoops. So, like, let's say we go east. Let's say we go back up here. Alright. We fight these guys. I'm just going to show these battles for a little while, and then eventually I'll... I'll start uh, editing them out, but it's pretty cool to see these attack animations and stuff. This game, I do have to admit, in a sense, comparing it to Dragon Warrior, and hell, even a little bit to Final Fantasy, uh, it is a little bit of ahead of its time because, shit, they're showing the characters actually attack the monsters. Like in Dragon Warrior, that didn't happen to almost Dragon until Dragon Warrior 8, you know what I mean? I do have to admit the battle system is a little odd in the essence that they should just give you the opportunity to fight. I guess they just figure that you're going to just physically attack all the time, I guess, for the time being. But whatever, I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm cool with that. So if we tried to go east, there would be a man here. Yeah, so we're not gonna bother fighting that guy. We're gonna run away like pusses. So what are we gonna do? I don't even know. All I know is I'm going home and I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry my little eyes out. My stupid little eyes. I'm gonna cry them out. I'm gonna weep tears of blood. Cause I can't even help that, that poor town, those scoundrels. I wonder if they meant to put terrorists. I wonder if that was the word. And yeah, now Rolf's home, crying his eyes out. And look, here's some dude. Some blonde-haired dude. And this guy's a bio-monster hunter. I have little talent, except I'm good with a gun. And his name is Rudo. I think his real name is, uh... Rudolf Steiner. Steiner. Oh, okay, there you go. Maybe you think you know. Uh, maybe you think you know a better name for me. No, you can go by Rudo. And so now we can look at now we can look at the characters in our group. As you can see, uh, left the army and became a hunter after a wife and child died. Very strong, can use heavy guns with ease. Jeez. So he's pretty much like. Uh, he's pretty much like. Uh, uh, what's his name? Odin from the first game. He's blonde, he's got a crew cut, and he's really strong. He's got two bow guns right now. Uh, eventually I want to buy him some daggers and a fiber coat. He's got that and a boot. And then for, uh, what's his name? I want to buy a... For Rolf, I want to buy a, uh sword eventually. Now, in this game, as you can see, we can do some dual wielding. And that's only because, uh, well, it's not only because, but it, it's because, uh, you know, knives, obviously, you can dual, we dual wield. You can use two knives. You got two hands, you can hold two knives. Now, when it comes to a sword, though, you have to use one hand. It's a one-handed weapon. Where you have to use both hands. So, yeah. Um, Rudo starts on level 1. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna fight with him just for a little bit. And I think we got a new... No, Poisoner is pretty much the same enemy. Rudo will not gain any magic points or or technique points. So, let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm actually not going to stop the ep well, I'm going to pause the episode and then come back and purchase a bunch of shit. I might even buy some ceramic knives, I don't know. I'm going to buy two daggers, like I said, headgear, I think he already has it. I'm going to buy a sword. Uh, the guns... Right now, the daggers would be better damage, I think. Although, I guess I could buy them. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how I feel. Yeah, I don't have enough money. 
Anywho's, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pause the video here. I'm gonna go save the game. And then I'm gonna... I would not like to teleport. Anyways, I'm gonna save the game, because, like, like, I, um... You know, it's gonna be a little tricky in the beginning of the game, I guess, to level up, uh, while walking around. Because they don't give you... They give you shit for experience. I'll, I'll be here all day if I have to... If I, if I couldn't use that, uh, easy thing. Now, the thing about the easy... Easy mode on, on this, or very easy mode, is, um... Basically, uh... You get four times the experience, right? And four times the Meseta. But the thing about it is, you get four times less attack, so... It, uh, it evens itself out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is save my game and then restart it and then what I'm gonna do is just fight for a little while and collect some stuff and then and then uh and then that's it really and this is just gonna be B so yeah I'm just gonna so now if we come over here we go to options we go to very easy, and then you have to restart the game, and then boom, bang, boom. And oh yeah, the 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 uh, what is it? The uh, city? No, 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 no. How do I get out of here? Reset. Anyways, the uh, the name of the the other planet that I was thinking of was Palma. Which is in this game, but maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll get there. I don't know. Anyways, let's continue from three. And like I said, I'm just gonna walk around uh, town, or not here, but uh, north and shit, and get get the money to purchase some good shit and level up. Uh, they say get it around level seven. So with Rolf and even uh, the other guy. So. Uh, I'll stop it for now, and we'll pick it up a little later, so I'll be right back. Alright, after quite some time, I am back, so let us look at our stats now. I've leveled up considerably. As you can see, level 9. I decided instead of purchasing, purchasing the sword that they had in the other town, I was just going to purchase me some ceramic knives. That's right, two knives equal more attack than one sword. Even though the attack power of one sword is better than one ceramic knife, it is not. You get more damage output is basically what I'm getting at. He learned a bunch of spells. Ruka, you warp back to the last town you were in. Hinas, I think, escaped from a dungeon. Rez is a heal. Foy is fire. G Foy is a better fire. Sue, San, Rez, I don't know what those are. Rez is heal, obviously. So let's look at, uh, let's look at Nii. If she's higher level, I think because, uh, well, I don't know why she is higher level. Anyway, she pretty much has the same gear, and she learned Anti, which is Antidote. And then for Rudo, I got him two ceramic knives as well, because I figured that, uh, what the hell, why not? This game, I heard, is notoriously evil. So I decided I am what you know I might as well uh, beat the shit out of it, uh, or at least attempt to beat the shit out of the game, so that I don't have to deal with pain as much. So we gotta go um, and stop those scoundrels from uh, doing whatever the hell they were doing. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing some battles. Apparently. Interestingly enough, as I was looking up some information, I was, uh, interestingly enough, I found out there's, like, two different types of species in this game, or two different types of enemies in the game. There's, uh, uh, bionoids, or bi, uh, bio-whatevers, and then there's, uh, <clears throat> then there's, uh, robots. Right now, all we're fighting is these bio-guys. I'll probably show the epi uh, the battles a little bit because, uh, for the time being, just because they're very, very fast, as you can see. 
one thing that does kind of tick me off about battles here. This is a new enemy. These guys can paralyze you. One thing that does tick me off about battles, someone was mentioning it in one video, I forget what one. But basically, what ends up happening is, these enemies can actually uh, do like a surprise attack on you. Like they hit you first, which is bull, because we never, so far, I've never been able to do a surprise attack. So here we are into this area. This is the sure place. On the first floor, go left and around the center. Luckily, we can walk fairly fast. From what I've heard, these areas are notoriously big and long and really shitty. So yeah, knee, her attack power never goes up. I'm not sure how this works, like, attack power-wise. Like, obviously, she's gained more uh, attack power. You know what I mean? But she just doesn't, like, get anything. Alright. So it says on the first floor, go left, then around the center to take the shoot up to the second floor. So these sh there are shoots around here. Oh, there's an item that I want to get. So yellow means... I think yellow means up, and, uh... The other one means down. Uh, red means down, I think. I don't know. We'll find out when I when I uh, when I get to where I need to get. I don't even know if I'm going the right way now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, like here, these guys are attacking first, although they didn't really hit me for anything. Yeah, these dungeons are, are fairly long, apparently. And, uh, no, these guys are pretty much the same. Mm. Yeah, alright. We gotta go all the way around. I'm looking at a map. Please, 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 if you're playing this game, please get yourself a map. It'll save you a lot of heartache in the future. So let's take on Locusts, although they look nothing like Locusts. So Rudo kind of plays the uh, the Odin character in this game, where he's all about strength and he has no magic. Anyways, if we come down here, oh look, more new enemies, Froggy. But yeah, so he is all about strength and high defense, he has no magic. He's pretty good from what I've been reading, and uh, he'll probably end up staying in my group for a while. 40 Masetta, alright, that's not too bad. So if we come over here and get attacked more. Yeah, I'm pr I'm I am so glad that I ended up getting those ceramic knives. They're gonna make my my experience in this cave much easier, or at least whatever the hell this is. So now we're down here. Mm, let's go get this treasure over here. Yeah, a lot of these areas are huge and expansive, and one thing about them is, is like, it doesn't make it any easier by, uh, by, uh, there we go, diamate. It doesn't make it any easier by, uh, like, friggin', um, putting these giant friggin' things here. Anyways, let's use that and see where I'm at. Did that go down? Oh, that went down. I don't want it. Red is up and yellow is down. Let's grab this. It's locked and won't open. What the hell? All right. All right. Let's uh, before we go down to that path, let's go up here. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think also. Um, with the speed up a little bit, that does help a lot, too. Walking through these places a little bit quicker does kind of help out. So apparently this place is where the scoundrels are. Or at least something or whatever. Anyways, let's take the red. Because that's up. It's locked and won't open. What the hell? 
Froggies. And yeah, as you can see... They're not taking any damage. Well, I think she did some damage there, but yeah. So basically, uh, Rudo, or Rudolph, and uh, Rolf can pretty much kill everyone in this area. I'm assuming all this crap is gonna be is going to be uh, locked. Oh, we got a new enemy, Carrier. Carrier of what? Some sort of disease? I don't know. But we get shit Masetta and shit, shit experience. Ooh, more new enemies, Spinner. Yay! Again, shit experience. Way to, way to be shitty. Alright, um... Yeah, let's come down here. More carriers and locusts. Yeah, I'm gonna just check these... This last part, and then I'm gonna stop the video. And in the next episode, we will continue exploring this area. Look for whatever the hell I'm supposed to be looking for. Uh, red is up. Locked. Yep. Apparently I can't get any of this shit. So if I go down... Hmm. 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 Okay. I don't want to go down there. Let's just go one, one little area and then I'll, I'll stop. But yeah, have a map, please. Save yourself pain. Because you could get a lot of pain. And as you can see, it looks like uh, the characters do do a little more damage depending on their hand, whatever handed they are. Um, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go down. Whatever hand they are. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's walk over here. Ooh, new enemies! Amoeba! Luckily they destroyed quickly. I have more experience. Anyways, I want to just grab this treasure and then I'm done. This is going to be a headband. Headgear. So if you didn't get one for Rolf back in the day, you can get one now. And now we're going to have to go all the way back to that other spot. And then uh, do our thing. But I'm going to stop the video here after I defeat this guy. And in the next episode, hopefully, we'll finish off this area, which seems to be fairly short. So this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.